right, it's a rivalry that goes back years, decades even. Today we're looking at probably, probably one of the fiercest rivals of all. We're looking at Spider-Man versus Venom. Uh, I would say I would say Venom is probably. I mean, Venom is definitely like Spider-Man's like complete opposite. I know he has like the Green Goblin. He has Doctor Octopus. Uh, he has different other villains, but Venom I think is like the epitome of the you know anti uh, Spider-Man just for the fact that he can get past his spider senses because of the you know the whole symbiote aspect of it. And then Eddie Brock always held a grudge against Peter Parker, you know. So now he gets to you know find it out. So that I always thought Venom was a great character. Uh, that was the opposite of Spider-Man. And of course he eats people. You know, he wants to eat his brains. So let's take a look. So we're looking at uh, this omnibus that came out recently. This is the standard. Let me show you that real quick. Very cool. Here's the spine. And the back. All right. And then we have the DM, which is also cool. I like, I like the standard just because it's the uh, McFarlane cover, which is great. This one's cool because it has carnage and it's yellow. All right, so let me put them both together. Again, standard right here, and then we got the DM right here. Very cool. All right, and let's take a look underneath. Now this, this is a classic picture of Spider-Man fighting carnage and venom. I think I remember trying to draw this back when I was like in elementary school, but it was so too hard for me, you know? Now, piece of cake, I actually, you know, drew this right now. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So this omnibus definitely jumps around. It's not like a single story about uh, Venom and, and Spider-Man. It, it is very, uh, it's a lot of their encounters together. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, and that uh, way you can see it. It does have the numbers down here, looks like it. Yes. Uh, pages feel a little thin, but of course, you know, with the new Ar Marvel omnibus, people have said that that's just kind of the norm now. So there you go. And let's take a look at the chapters. This has a lot, guys, so get ready. It has Amazing Spider-Man from 1963, number 258, number 300, number 315 to 317, number 332 to 333, 346 to 347, 361 to 363, 374 and 378 to 380, Web of Spider-Man from 1985, number 1, 95 and 96, and 101 to 103, Avengers Death Trap, the Vault, Dark Hawk, number 13 through 14. Spider-Man, the, the Trial of Venom. Ghost Rider slash Blaze. Spirit of Vengeance, number 5 and 6. Spider-Man from 1990, number 35 and 37. Spectacular Spider-Man from 1976, from number 201 to 203. And Materials from Amazing Spider-Man from 1963. 373, 375, and 388. And Annual, number 25 through 26. Web of Spider-Man, Annual... Number 7 and 8, Spectacular Spider-Man, Annual Number 12, Marvel Comics Presents from 1988, Number 117 to 122, and Spider-Man Unlimited from 1993, Number 1 and 2. So it's definitely a huge uh, assortment of uh, encounters between not only Spider-Man and Venom, but of course Carnage, as you can see there, since Carnage is basically just a part of Venom that split off and, and took over... Uh, Cletus Cassidy, C Cassidy Cletus, yeah, whatever his name is, Cletus Mapitas. Uh, definitely a lot of this is like the 90s stuff, as you can see, how it's like, the bodies are very angular, exaggerated muscles and such, but you know what, it fits the whole Venom Carnage Spider-Man aesthetics, like that, there you go. And I really like, there's some, let me see if I can find some. I like when Carn when Venom has like this exaggerated mouth that looks like ridiculously big. Let's see if we can find some of those because I think that's just where he looks more like an actual monster. Where you know on some of them like he like look at the smile like it goes like half his face. I always like that. There's some that let me sh let me show you. There was one that I was just like, dude, that thing looks so scary. When his teeth are like all coming out. Where is it? Where is it? Like that look. <laughs> like it's, they're just like popping out of, of like his his skull. Like it's just like that. Look at it. It's like complete monstrosity. Yes, <laughs> his mouth is huge. I, I actually really like that. Like that. Because of course it's an alien. Like give me something that I'm going to be scared of. Uh, look at that, bro. Like just the jaw like hangs out like exaggerated amount. Like that's that's the, that's the nightmare stuff, you know? 
but yeah, that's definitely a lot of that 90s style artwork where it's just like insane. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's take a look what else is included uh, in the back. Okay, you know what? I would have liked to see a symbiote uh, costume with the red like that. But the black and white is just is classic, bro. It's so classic. But we got the red and black with the uh, null. You know how his symbol is the the red venom. Thing? Oh yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it's a, it's good to have on a villain. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Look at this one. Look at the mouth like that. Like just like spreads open. Something from like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> like that too. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of I kind of like uh, Ultimate. If you read Ultimate Spider-Man, their symbiote is very much like, like primal, animalistic. Like just it doesn't look like it, besides just like at the end where it looks human. Yeah, but the rest of it's just like a blob with teeth and all that. All right, but yeah, again, uh, if if from all the villains for Spider-Man, he has so many great ones. I think Venom is definitely in you know top two of those that that are like the the flip coin of Spider-Man, you know? Green Goblin, of course, because he just had so much history with him, but Venom is just, like, his ultimate rival, I would say. Just because, you know, the symbiote got into him, so he knows. All right, there you go, guys. Oh, these are some of the some of the really cool covers that uh, McFarlane did and some of the art art other artists. And we get to see that. So this is great if you want to get the encounters between Spider-Man and Venom. If you like just having the Venom books by themselves, look at that. That's cool. Like all the cards. You know, we also have those available. We also have the Spider-Man stories available. But, uh, you know, this is a great um, Omni to have if you just want those encounters between your favorite neighbor, your neighborhood Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and then, of course, you know, the... Uh, what do they call the, the Venom? They call him the Lethal Protector. Oh, yeah, Lethal Protector. There you go. <laughs> so get your Organic Prize books, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.